So today we're jumping into Instagram and we're going to have a look at the hashtag logo and see what kind of work is actually on there. And I'm going to give some critique and also some praise on the designs I find on the hashtag on Instagram. So here is the logo hashtag on Instagram. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of posts and there's also quite a lot of followers as well. Now on the desktop, the top nine posts are the top rated posts on here. And it's pretty interesting to see actually what there is. Not all of the posts are even logos, of course. But yeah, before we get into this, do you actually use hashtags on Instagram and what ones do you use for your designs? Now out of these top nine posts, this one right here looks pretty promising because I like the layout and the presentation of this logo. I think they've got the logo type down to a T. I'm not sure about the symbol and I'm not also sure about the Laura Ipsum text as well. They could have just put something in there relevant to the design, but also the layout and the color palette was really nice and that's what grabbed my attention in the first place but let's move off of the top posts and let's take a look down but actually wait oh this is in the top nine posts on the hashtag logo in my opinion this breaks so many rules in logo design there's so much detail there's even a glitter effect and there's even a drop shadow now this really confuses me how is this on the top nine rated posts on the hashtag for logo design but yeah, moving down, and again, this is another nice layout, and I think it's by the same design that we saw earlier. But this time, the logo symbol is a lot cleaner, it's a lot more defined, in my opinion. But unfortunately, the main logo type is too close to the slogan, for my opinion. And also, I'd like to see a bit more contrast in the logo type, but overall, it's another great presentation, and the layout's really good too. So, of course, I'm going to give this a like. Hold up, is it just me, or does this logo look like something familiar? Wait, wait, let me check. Yes, it looks exactly or just pretty similar to the Pixar logo. That might be just me, but it does look pretty similar. However, the logo made the same mistake where they've had the logo type too close together, for my opinion. So what else are we going to find on this logo hashtag? Maybe you're going to see some of your own work on here. Who knows? I absolutely have to give this a like. This is one of my favorite sans serif fonts that I use on a pretty regular basis, actually. So I have to give this a like. But I don't know why it's in the logo hashtag. Now, this looks promising. Wow, right off the bat, the choice of logo type is really, really, you know, decent in this logo. But the outcome here is quite blurry, which is which is unfortunate, actually. I like the color combination. I like the logo mark. It's pretty decent. But I'm not sure if it would do better if it wasn't an outlined design, if it was just actually a block design. But yeah, the logo type is pretty decent here. I think it does work well. And they've gone for a serif font, which was the right choice here, in my opinion. But yeah, again, nice layouts and a nice color palette. But I'm not too sure about the, uh, the final outcome on the symbol and also the quality of this image on Instagram. Let's have a look and see what else we can find on this hashtag. Actually, completely getting sidetracked again. This isn't even anything close to a logo, but it does look awesome. So I'm going to have to give it a like. We've actually come to the bottom of the hashtag and there wasn't a whole lot on here. I would say it's probably about 25% logos, but let's give a different hashtag or a similar one a look. Like say, let's have a look at logo type. Let's have a look at logo type. Now here is a design that has really mastered the logo type side of things. <laughs> but again, it might be a bit too close together for my liking. Just, just move the tagline down a tiny bit. But they've got some really nice uh, contrast here because the tagline has some really nice kerning going on. And the logo types are contrasting in a really, really decent way. Also, the logo symbol fits this kind of style of design as well. This is one of the best logos I've seen today, actually. So again, we're looking at the logo type now, the logo type hashtag. And this here, this is a prime example of what you don't want to do for your logo type when you're designing a logo. There is way too much going on here. There's gradients. I can't even read half of it. And yeah, this isn't really a good example of logo type, if you ask me. Now here is another example that has done things right in terms of logo type anyway. The main logo type is really neatly laid out and it's a really good choice for this style of logo using the serif font. And then below they've complemented that with the logo type accented in contrast. So yeah, let me know what you thought of today's collection of logos on the hashtag. 
and do you use hashtags for your posts on social media? But until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.